position and ninth overall uh, ready for the race start so car's just been through its pre-race checks just before we, we send the car off for the six hours of the race. Yeah just try and get a nice clean start it's going to be a lot of cars all going into a very very fast turn one. Unfortunately, passing a, a slower GT car, he just turned in on me a little bit too early and touched my rear wheel and unfortunately it gave us a puncture and the tyre deflated and, and broke a little bit of the bodywork in the floor and that meant that we had about a 20 minute um, downtime in the garage to fix all that. Guys, great job. I know it wasn't the start we, we know we wanted, but got that repaired quickly. We're still in the race. We've got five hours left to go, so good job, lads. Well, he's had more traffic than the M25, but he's nearly through it now. Just a couple more cars, he'll have a clear lap. You know, difficult to not motivate yourself, but when you're so far down, you start to keep pushing and pushing. Had some <laughs> entertaining battles with a few people in different cars and stuff all over the place they were. It'll be a driver change. It's important to keep your head down and keep the pressure on, which is what we did, you know. Johnny handed over to Nick and Nick was Nick was fantastic. Nick was absolutely flying and you know the pit stops were amazing and we really took the fight to everybody and I think it, it's quite evident that when we looked on our lap charts towards the end and did the calcs, we should have been two laps in the lead, not twelve laps down as it were. Pace is good mate, pace is good and consistent, uh, fastest man out there but we're just too far off to catch the guys in front to just keep lapping, there's still seven laps behind, not a lot we can do. We came out a huge amount down on the whole field really and we managed to claw our way back up to, uh, to eighth in class which again, you know, for, for the mechanics, for the drivers to, to keep that focus for the next sort of five hours of a race despite knowing that it's almost a lost cause, just shows the fighting spirit that we've instilled here. Our pit stops were faultless, we were time after time the quickest people out there and it was just, it, it's really confidence inspiring to know that you know even against sort of, you know, in times of adversity you can still perform like that and moving forward to next year that's what it's all about and you have to take the positives from it and it was a fantastic team performance, we were let down by situations beyond our control um, but the pace is there, the drive, pace and the drivers is there, the pace and the ability of the team is there, it's just got all come together with a bit of luck and, uh, and you know we'll be getting some good results. And we've worked really hard for the last two months to get ourselves on a level footing and now we have. It's just devastating for everyone that we couldn't quite turn it into the result we wanted. The championship's not over, we can still go to Estrell and hopefully do something there but it's, it's a long shot now and uh, I think we're just going to go there and try and get the best result we can and, and enjoy ourselves. Check the flag Johnny, check the flag, well done mate. Finished P8, uh, nothing more we can do there mate, we had the pace and uh, we still go into Estrell now with a mathematical chance so the best we can do is go to uh, Estrell and enjoy ourselves. I'm going to finish the season in style.